welcome growers. This video is about the recommended transplanting process for raft production in the radix. In this video, we will cover the recommended process, transplanting steps, and increasing effectiveness through tools and equipment. The standard three-stage process for raft production includes seven to 10 days for germination, 10 to 12 days for seedling development in a propagation radix, and 20 to 30 days in a vegetative radix for a full grow out. This process requires two transplants. There are two main reasons that we recommend this process. First, young plants do not require as much space and therefore we can dedicate less square footage to the early stages. Second, the propagation light spectrum is designed to maximize growth in young plants. This light recipe promotes strong root and leaf development, while the vegetative light spectrum is for maximizing leaf volume. We always suggest that growers new to the radix follow the recommended process when starting out and adjusting their process as they gain experience. It is common for operators to want to skip the propagation step in order to reduce labor. However, we strongly advise against shortening the process because it will impact the plant growth and reduce end yield. Please contact your Sanon Bio advising grower to discuss alternative processes to fit your operation's goals. Transplant one is the process of moving plugs from the original plug tray to the propagation raft. Propagation rafts have 180 plant sites. We recommend using 90 plant sites per raft for full-size lettuce or similar shaped greens and 180 sites for smaller or narrower greens like basil. Place raft caps over unneeded plant sites. This will decrease algae growth and maintain healthier water quality. Place a plug into each open plant site, making sure the roots fit through the hole. We use a tapered plug that fits through the hole and sits slightly above the top of the raft. Other substrates may sit on the planting site ledge and may be flush with the raft or stick up. Regardless of the substrate type, it is important that roots reach the water level when placed into the grow bed. Once a raft is full, place directly into the grow bed or onto a transplant cart. Transplant two is the process of moving seedlings from propagation rafts to vegetative rafts. Vegetative rafts have 54 plant sites. We recommend using 27 plant sites for full-size lettuce or similar sized greens and 54 sites for smaller or narrower greens like basil and herbs. Again, place raft cap over unneeded plant sites. Carefully remove plugs from the propagation raft dip roots into clean water, and place into an open plant site in the vegetative raft. Dipping the roots in water makes it easier to get the roots through the raft hole. We suggest training operators to work from side to side or back to front so that roots do not drip on leaves. Once all plant sites are full, verify that all roots are hanging free under the raft. It is important to correct any plugs in which roots are looped or are caught in the hole. Once again, place the completed rafts directly into a grow bed or onto a transplant cart. When placing rafts in grow beds or transportation carts, it is important to avoid contaminating the edible crop by reducing the chance for roots to drip onto leaves. When placing rafts, start at the top layer and work down. When removing rafts, start at the bottom and work up. When using transportation carts, Always use drip catchers under each raft. Be careful when inserting or removing rafts from a grow bed not to scrape the roots or leaves. We suggest keeping the raft flat as you insert the grow bed, then tipping the furthest end of the raft down to meet the grow bed ledge and lowering the front into place. This way, you can verify that all of the roots are in the water and that the raft is sitting correctly in the grow bed. To remove a raft, use the finger hold to lift the front, then secure the raft with two hands to lift evenly and remove from the grow bed. Once full, these rafts can be very heavy, 
so please take caution when lifting, walking, and using ladders. A two-person team may be useful in placing and removing heavy rafts in the highest grovets. One of the best ways to make labor more efficient at any scale is to increase mobility in order to decrease foot traffic around a facility. We suggest using carts and tables with locking wheels that can adapt to your operation's evolving needs. When looking for equipment, it is important to invest in cleanable surfaces that will not rust, finding materials that are made to withstand high humidity environments, and using equipment that fits your team. Equipment that is too hard to move or is not sized correctly for a task will decrease efficiency. Sanan Bio makes mobile carts for transporting and storing rafts as well as a transplanting station. Otherwise, we suggest sourcing equipment that is made for restaurants or food manufacturing. A product with an NSF logo is an excellent indicator that the product has undergone testing to comply with regulations associated with food processing. The tools and equipment that you need will vary depending on the substrate you choose, the size of your facility, and the goals of your operation. We are often asked what tools and equipment we use in our facilities. Our US operations use peat plugs by Quick Plug with 162 plugs per tray. These plugs are one inch by one inch by 1.75 inch deep and fit perfectly into the wraps. We use a plug dislodger manufactured by Growing Systems Incorporated to make removing plugs from the tray easier. There are also peg boards available for manual removal. Thanks for watching. Please contact us for additional support.